Hello and welcome to Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video what we'll be going over is three new enhancements that were added to the Movie Magic Scheduling 5.2 update that was just released. The first of which is having a summary bar at the bottom of your strip board. Also on the strip board we've added the ability to auto daybreak by hour in addition to by pages. And then finally we've added the ability to have dotted lines in the strip and report layouts. So let me show you how to do all that. Here we are on the strip board and previously if you wanted to see what your last shooting day was and how many day breaks you had, how many days in your schedule you had, you'd have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the schedule. Well now, at the bottom of the strip board window, we've added this summary bar which tells you how many shooting days and when your last shooting date is. So that's really handy. So if you're at the top of your schedule or middle, wherever you are, you can get a quick glance of how many shooting days and when your last shooting date is. So it's really handy. I'm going to actually go ahead and remove all my day breaks by hitting the delete all day breaks button and click yes to confirm. Now I've removed all my day breaks. If I want to auto day break, hitting the auto day breaks button, we've added the new time per day feature in addition to the pages per day. So with time per day what you're able to do is if you've added estimated time into all of your uh, breakdown sheets and use that as a way to say I think this is going to take two hours or this scene is going to take four hours what you can do now is say I want to shoot a maximum of by default here we have eight hours per day that might be a little low so let's go to ten hours a day and click OK and what that does is um, it cuts off your days at a maximum of 10 hours. So uh, notice here there's nothing, none of your days are more than 10 hours. And using the summary bar down here you can see that gives us a total of 32 shooting days ending on Tuesday, June 28th. The last feature I just wanted to show you real quickly is if I go into Design, Report Layouts, and this works for strip layouts also, but I just want to show it in report layouts really quickly. I'm going to open up one line shooting schedule number two here. And what you're able to do now is when you draw lines uh, or boxes or anything, when you grab the line tool and draw a line, while that line is selected here, if we go over here to the right on the below panel, it may be collapsed, so make sure it's, it's not collapsed is you've got the thickness and now you've got dotted so you can have solid micro dots and then you know dash dash dot so there's all these different options so if you want dotted lines square dots you can select that so that works with lines it also works with boxes if I draw a box here I can have it be a dotted line box and if I want to go back to a solid line all you have to do is select the top one which is a solid. If you have any feedback for us, you can send that feedback to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com and our community page to find ways to follow us on our social networks. Thanks for watching.